Absolutely. Around 1969, I did a, a, a gig here in L.A. with Jean Ponte, who's a violinist. And we played this rock club. The producer of John Luke's records thought that it'd be good if we played in a rock club. So I said, John Luke says, I'll do it if George does it. So I said, okay, I'll do it if you have a piano. Because something told me it was a rock club, they wouldn't have a piano. So Dick Box said, don't worry, there'll be a piano there and it'll be cool. So I said, John Luke, okay, that's cool, let's do it. We did the gig, I got down there, there was no piano. They had this silver top rose. I said, that's the same piano I played with Don Ellis. I said, what a drag. But I got, but you know, looking out in the audience, there was Quincy Jones, there was Frank Zappa, there was a Cannibal Adderley, there was, uh, I mean, Gerald Wilson. There were all these like my peers, not my peers, but my heroes, my musical heroes. I was a really young guy. So I said, uh oh, I got to play this rascal. That's all I got, you know, and I discovered that when I started playing it, that I said, oh, there's some knobs here. What does this do? And then so I turned this knob and I said, oh, you can turn it up. I mean, I can play louder than the drummer. Yeah, I like that. So I started doing this and then I found, I said, oh, vibrato. Wow. And I found if I did the, the volume knob like, hey, 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 I can make that do that. And so I started experimenting with it. And, and Frank Zappa was having to be there that night. So uh, I started playing with my legs. My I did everything totally extroverted that I could think of on this piano. And eventually I guess somebody noticed and said, he's crazy. Frank Zappa asked me to join the band. That's exactly what happened. And I think one of the artists who brought it to the front of really its uh, adaptability was uh, George Duke. Because he, he kind of put the funk in the roads. <laughs> Sunday afternoon, I remember. You know, I was there for dinner with my mom, and uh, she and and the phone rang, and she said there's somebody on the phone named Zupa. I said, Zupa? Who the hell is Zupa? So, oh, Zappa. He's had a lot of praise and a lot of accolades in his life, but he, I still he's underrated to me. So he called. He says, George, I want you to join the Mothers. So I said, uh, the who? Because he's one of these guys that does so many different really distinctive, different things well. So I went to LA the next week and uh, that was it. That's how I joined the band. And he had a Fender Rhodes there when I went. Not a piano, it's true. He'd go over to his Rhodes and just break your heart with some of those things he'd be playing. You know, Rush, <laughs> he was just, whew. George. Return to Forever. I was in Pori Fenland when I first met Stanley Clark, by the way. And my roads got messed up. They, it came in, uh, you know, off the plane, and I don't know what had happened. It, it was the metal sticking through the thing. It just it was gone. It was a disaster. So I asked Chick if I could use his piano. I didn't know Chick at the time. And so the promoter went. I went to his Chick says, yeah, I could use the piano, but, you know, be easy on it. And I was playing with Cannonball. Man. I beat the stew out of that piano. It was, I no stuck, you know? I mean, it was like, you know, you know, when they just lay flat and stuff, and it was out of tune, and it was the only roads in Finland uh, at this festival, Pori Jazz Festival. And so Chick was pissed off at me. So Chick, Chick, man, he had to play with Return of Forever with well, four or five keys, generally, you know, kind of sporadically, police cross keyboards not working he was living he was living i'm sorry i was apologizing says anything i can do i gotta hold it up for you while you're playing and then <laughs> yeah i beat it up that was a, that was a terrible story though, but that's a true story and that's that was my first introduction to chick <sighs> i hope he doesn't remember it but it's true oh i don't remember that Oh, George, gonna be happy that you don't remember that. <laughs> I, even if I did, are you kidding? How, how could yeah, I? Yeah. yeah. George. Yeah. I love George. Yeah. 